Okay, so this was the most sus babysitter I've ever had. And I'm not joking when I say this. It was absolutely insane. But before we get into the story, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, it helps me out and grows the channel. But other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story because I cannot hold it back anymore. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a really embarrassing but yet kind of crazy story. So today's story starts off back when I was 15 years old. Now, when I was 15, I won't lie to you. The main thing I would always do is the devil's thing go like this was like the prime age of me doing it most of the stories are actually based on me being 15 years old and you know doing my crazy incidents where i would do the devil's tango with like a bunch of different women but at the same time there was one moment in my life where let's just say i got really badly in trouble and it got to the point where funny enough my parents actually ended up walking in on me doing a girl that i was not allowed to see that story's for another time so if you want to hear about that well just leave a like and i'll probably tell it to you guys but i remember i have that whole incident one thing's for sure my parents did not trust me knowing that i was always going out doing the devil's tango in a way my parents were more ashamed of me than anything which i mean i don't blame them like it's like one of those questions of would you rather have a uh, whore son or whore daughter like it's just it's just not a good thing to be so knowing my parents didn't trust me at all i remember when i was 15 years old my parents were actually planning on doing a trip to seattle now me i live in vancouver canada so seattle's like not that far of a drive and my parents like to go there a lot to see family because we have family down there now me obviously i didn't want to go to seattle because well who wants to be cooped up in a car for four hours and driving all the way to well america of all things and it just wasn't worth it so i remember telling my parents how i didn't want to go and i basically just wanted to stay home and just play video games you know just be a normal kid when in reality i'm not gonna lie chances were i was probably gonna bring a girl home and them knowing that and them knowing that i might do the devil's tango again i remember my parents thought it would be a good idea for me to get a babysitter now i've had babysitters before and i mentioned some of the stories on this channel Channel. but no babysitter was as sus as this babysitter because i remember when my parents were talking about this new babysitter that we were getting i was really upset i'm not joking i was so mad to the point where i didn't talk to my parents at all like you know those feelings where you get so upset inside where you end up going into your room and just staying in there not want to talk to anyone yeah that was basically me at that point. So I remember what ended up happening was me being upset all in my room. I remember I heard a knock on the door on the day that they were leaving. Now, I didn't talk to my parents for that entire day because I knew they were leaving and I just wanted them to leave. But when I heard the knock on the door, obviously I got the curiosity of who was going to be my babysitter. Was it going to be some old lady that's crazy? Is it going to be some, you know, friend that I know or family friend that I just don't like? When I ended up coming out of my room, I sat in the top of the stairwell waiting to see who was going to open the door and who was going to walk through it, basically. And the person that ended up walking through was not an old family friend or an old, you know, lady that absolutely hates her life. It was a girl that actually ended up graduating from my high school and that I actually recognized. Now, this girl was no ordinary girl, I should mention. This girl was literally like the top of her class, smartest and most attractive girl, I want to say, in my entire school that year. Like, as a grade 12, like, she was literally like rated, I think, one of the hottest girls in our school, which was not done by the school, by the way. It was the guy's bathroom that rated her that, but that's not the point. Let's just say this girl was like one of a kind. And a lot of people knew her and a lot of people were actually madly in love with her in high school hell even i knew about her and when she entered my high school i was in grade nine so me knowing this i remember my mouth dropped to the floor and i was in shock i was like no way this is gonna be my babysitter now i remember when she walked in my parents was giving her the rundown of everything and how you know i need to stay in my room no inviting anyone in no leaving outside none of that stuff and obviously i ended up basically just being all upset because you know it's kind of embarrassing how like i'm literally in grade 10 when i'm 15 years old and you're sending me a babysitter that's what 20 years old like what 19 not even like it's just oh it was so embarrassing knowing that she was babysitting me so after my parents left i remember she ended up just going and sitting on the couch not even talking to me not even meeting me nothing and i guess she did that because you know she thought it was kind of weird to you know basically go up to a 15 year old room and talk to her and so i don't know it just it just was really awkward for both of us i'll put it that way and i remember basically i ended up coming downstairs and i actually walked up to her and introduced myself she looked at me as if she already knew me and she's like uh don't you go to the same high school i used to uh yeah that's me hi uh, nice to meet you what's going on she ended up basically just staring me down and she just sat down going on her phone and i'm not gonna lie acting really depressed now i didn't know why she was sad or why she was just you know super down but i remember when i sat down beside her and started talking to her and catching up with her i ended up asking her the one question that most people hear after they graduate high school and that was hey like so like what you been up to since you know since you graduated um nothing just you know life it's it's whatever wait what do you mean it's whatever like what's going on is everything good oh everything's fine it's just life gets to you now when she said that i really 
really had no idea what she was talking about, nor did I understand what she meant. So I remember I basically, you know, kept talking to her and stuff. And then that's when I asked her, why do you do babysitting? Like, don't you like have an actual job? Oh, like I have an actual job. I'm an adult film star. Wait, what? Now the term adult film star, ladies and gentlemen, is basically where you go online and fo post photos of you and your cherries and your peaches and you know, all that stuff that's, let's just say YouTube could demonetize me for saying. And me knowing this, I was in really big shock, but at the same time, at the moment when she told me it, I didn't believe her. So I ended up laughing saying, <laughs> okay, you're funny. Wait, what do you mean? No, like I'm actually a film star. Wait, what? Now at this moment I was in major disbelief, but obviously the conversation got really awkward and she ended up sending me back up to my room to basically go and relax for a bit anyways after i went upstairs to my room i remember it was super awkward but i was just playing call of duty black ops 2 and just minding my own business really because i didn't really know what to say or think after knowing that knowing that my babysitter was an adult film star well let's just say it doesn't really get easier does that make any sense probably not but going on though i remember from there i was just basically sitting down playing and i thought maybe it would be a good idea to maybe do some research on this girl really see why she decided to go the adult film star route of all things so so I remember I ended up basically searching her up on my phone and when I found her Twitter, I am not joking when I say this. There were so many photos that so many people back in my high school days would pay so much for. And me seeing this right then and there on my phone for free? That blew my mind. Like I'm not joking, I was scrolling down that thing to like the bottom of the barrel. Like I went through every single media I think I ever went through. Even got to the point where I got bricked and I ended up you know, actually, you guys don't need to know that, but you know what I mean. After like 20 minutes later of that, though, I remember I ended up getting called down by her to basically go downstairs and eat some dinner. Now, me, honestly, the fact that she made me dinner was mind blowing. I guess it wasn't a part of like her job, but she ended up doing it anyway, which was super nice of her, by the way. And I remember basically from there, I ended up going downstairs. And one thing I forgot was my phone. I left my phone upstairs and I have no idea why. I guess, you know, since I was in my own house, I just kind of just forget my phone like that naturally. But I forgot my phone and I remember I basically basically went downstairs, ate my mac and cheese with bacon because, well, you know, I'm a true gamer. Who, What gamer doesn't eat mac and cheese? And when I was eating my mac and cheese, out of pure awkwardness, this girl decides to go, what bathroom can I use? I ended up telling her to just go upstairs to the one near my room and she ended up going upstairs and she actually ended up using my bathroom. But I guess after using my bathroom, she ended up actually deciding to go into my room and... Um, this is where the story gets really bad because she ended up seeing my phone and how I was looking at photos of her on Twitter. I don't know what to think when an adult film star sees a kid that's 15 years old looking at photos of them. Like, don't they realize that like what they do, like anyone could literally see anytime, anywhere. I will say this much, it is super awkward. But she saw that and what she decided to do was grab my phone, bring it downstairs and tell me, are these photos of me? Are you looking at my Twitter? Uh, I, I, I research. I ended up saying the word research as if I knew what I was talking about. And at this point, I won't lie to you, things got super awkward between us. I didn't know what to say to her. She didn't know what to say to me. And we just kind of just ended up standing there kind of weirded out. And then afterwards, I remember basically from there, she ended up looking at me after a while with a smile on her face. And it wasn't no ordinary smile. This was the most sus smile any babysitter could give you. From there, I remember she ended up basically walking up to me and she told me, since you've already seen like every part of me, is it cool if like you help me with some of my work? Now, I didn't know what I was supposed to do at this moment because, you know, I was 15. I never actually ended up, you know, being a filmer or a photo photographer at that moment. I had no experience whatsoever. I didn't take my adult film class, what, two years later, which I mean, in school, like photography class. Sorry, that sounded really bad. But the point is, I remember she ended up taking me to the living room, basically taking off her clothes all in front of me and she started posing on my couch posing upstairs in my bedroom posing literally in my parents bedroom which mom and dad if you're watching this i apologize i ended up taking photos of her as a 15 year old around my house while she was not wearing anything it was majorly sus and i'm not gonna lie it made me super uncomfortable but the whole time i was Bricked. and she definitely knew it knew it to the point where she actually told me um do you want me to take care of that which i'm not gonna lie she did we did the devil's tango and also on top of that that night exactly she ended up actually passing out on the bed with me what can i say i pulled an adult film star <sighs> I'm just that cool, I guess. Well, I mean, it was my babysitter as well. So, I mean, like, in a way, she was taking care of me to a new sus level, if that makes sense. 
sure sure let's just go with that right when i thought everything was gonna be good and dandy the next morning happened and the next morning funny enough my parents ended up coming home early because i guess things got really boring in seattle and my parents decided to walk up to my room first thing to greet me and she sees me and the babysitter yeah i don't know let's just say they ended up walking in on me again but hey what can i say i had a sus babysitter anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys just leave a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and like i always say just fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys